Heavy rains washed out roads across El Paso County over the past couple of days. They're starting to reopen tonight, including Seaford Boulevard near Academy on Austin Bluffs, which has reopened. But there are still concerns, road concerns, which are far from over. A stretch of Sanborn Road near Ellicott remains closed. New at 5, KRDO News Channel 13, Scott Harrison shows us how that dirt road looks today. This is Sanborn Road Friday, right after El Paso County closed it because of erosion and flash flooding. It's flood prone because several creeks drain into the area. And this is Sanborn Road today. The half mile stretch is still soft and soggy and still closed, but looks much better than it did. That makes George Schubert happy. It's part of nature and it's farming. We just, we fix it and we go on. Schubert is a farmer and rancher who owns land on both sides of the road. He had his own equipment out, making sure he can get to his fields this week. And I, I know what happens in a severe flood, and I know what this is. This is just a little rain, is all it is. Let it blow through, fix the road, let's go. Schubert doesn't like the county's plan to install a culvert for drainage. It'll work maybe eight out of ten times, but the rest of the time it's just going to wash it out. Schubert says the best way to handle this situation is to build what's called a Texas crossing. Essentially, that means establishing a level base at the lowest section of this drainage area. That way, when a flash flood does come through, it won't wash away parts of the road, and traffic can still go through here. Schubert says closing Sanborn Road isn't a major inconvenience because the area is sparsely populated, and there are other ways people can get in and out. In El Paso County, Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13. Scott, thank you. And El Paso County says it may take a few more days still before Sanborn Road is dry enough to get the heavy equipment in there to repair it.